Hey, you guys, it's Peter. And I'm back. Of course I'm back. I'm YouTube fan. <laughs> Miss now. I got my fidget spinner. <laughs> well, actually, we were at this wedding reception last night. And this <laughs> these kids, each of them had about 15 of them. And they're all laid out on the deck. And I was like... <sighs> Can I have one of your fidget spinners? And this little kid was so sweet. He was like, you can have one. And they were all like, no, I need them all. I need all 10 of them. And this one little kid was like, you can have one of mine. And I was like, oh, okay. And I went for the glittery one. He goes, not that one. And then I went for the red one. He goes, not that one. And then I went for like the metallic blue one. He goes, not that one. He goes, here, you can have this one. I got the dead. <laughs> Look, the dead fidget spinner. I don't care. It's taking all my ADHD away. I feel so focused now. Anyway, so funny when I did that rant video and like, do y'all not get that my rant videos are like 80% joking and like 10% the truth and the other 10% just BS? I mean, people get so serious in my comment sections. They're like, I cannot believe that you came for the fidget spinner. My child's grades have gone from straight Fs to A pluses because of the fidget spinner. How dare you? I'm like, you need to get a sense of humor. Like, people seriously, like, they do not, like, the other day, whoo! I need a sip of my coffee. Hold on. I'm getting wired, and when you get wired, and when you start getting manic you just, you fidget. <laughs> you fidget spinner thing. I can't even get it to work half the time. Oh, my Lord. In my video that I did the other day, that was called something to the effect of, um, mm, Mm -mm. What was it called? I can't think. Uh, shoot. The one that I was talking about, I'm like trying to pull shit out of my head and I can't think. Well, anyway, this lady, she didn't like it. Um, she was like, uh, you're so arrogant and la da 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 And then all these people said something underneath it. And she's like, well, I didn't even watch the video. But um, like, I know. Oh, oh, it was called like uh, D advice to on like how to deal with crazy YouTube fans. And it was my one where I read XO Ox. And she was like, you are so full of yourself. You don't have fans. You just have viewers and subscribers. I was like, gal, I read a children's book on a video, okay? You need to back up. And then she, like, left this, like, two paragraph. Okay, why would you leave two paragraph comment on or con on somebody's video when you didn't even watch the video? You didn't even watch three minutes of the video. Because if you had watched three minutes of the video, you would have known that my video was not about all of that, okay? My video was... A joke. It's a joke. It's funny. You're supposed to laugh. If you don't find any humor in the six is afraid of seven, why? Because seven, eight, nine, then baby, you can ten on out, okay? Because it's just not that deep. It's funny. And the majority of my videos are meant to be funny. I may even get a romper. Who knows? So anyway, I was thinking about this today because, you know, like... Do you have that one friend? Like, that one friend. Do you know what I'm talking about? Well, actually, this is kind of like several different friends, but... Do you have that one friend that, like, everything you say is wrong? You're like, oh, I've been, like, I heard that blueberries are really healthy for you. Like, I was watching Dr. Oz, and Dr. Oz says that you should eat, you know, blueberries if they're really good for you. No. Now, six months ago, the blueberries were the thing. But today, it's not. It's the peaches. And I'm like, the peaches? They're like, yes, dried peaches. Dried peaches? Yes, but you can only get the dried peaches, the ones that they have at Whole Foods, the ones that are $2.29. You have to get those kind, and the package is called Sunny Delight Orange uh, Peach Slices. I'm like, okay, and I'm, like, writing all this down, right? And then the next time you're at lunch with them, you're like, oh, I got those peaches that you told me about. And I'm like, and you're trying to, like, assimilate with them, right? Like, have something in common with them. Don't we all just want to get along? Like, why does everybody just want to fight and make life difficult? Like, I do not understand. <sighs> the power of a fidget spinner calms my ass down every time. So, anyway... So you're sitting there at lunch, right, with them a week later, and you don't really want to have lunch with this person anyway because they're so difficult and they're so negative, and they send you a text message, and they're like, we never see each other anymore. I miss you. And you're, like, wanting to say, yeah, we don't have lunch anymore because you're friggin' negative. We don't say the F word on here anymore because this is family-friendly, so fuck all that fuckery. But anyway, 
we, uh, you know, you want to say to that friend, we don't have lunch anymore because you're so damn miserable and negative all the time. Like you sit down at lunch and they just go, and you go, oh, and you, they don't ever once ask you one question about you. Like, how are you? How are you doing? Whatever, right? They just go, oh, my life. Well, what's wrong with your life? Well, I mean, we just got back from Boca a week ago. And, you know, we have to turn around and we have to go to Aruba next week for this wedding reception. And they're like, oh, my God, if you had my life, it's so difficult. Oh, really? Boca and Aruba. Well, I drive around in a car and make car vlogs. Don't talk to me about Aruba and Boca. And then they sit there and they want to go on and they're like, oh. You know, I got this adorable dress, a pattaya, and it was so cute. It was white. And then we went to the wedding in Boca, and Sally Joe had on the exact same dress. Can you imagine? It's the worst thing in the entire world. And you're like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then they, like, order food, and they, like, take a bite out of it. And they're like, they pick the restaurant. They want to go to that restaurant. They're like, this is my favorite restaurant in the whole world. We have to go to this restaurant. And you know there's nothing at that restaurant that you want, right? And you sit down there, and you get something, and you're, like, real excited about it because you're like, okay, listen, like, I, hey, I can't afford expensive lunches out all the time, but I'm going to do this for my my friend because I feel bad for her because nobody wants to spend any time with her because she's so miserable all the time, right? So you do it out of courtesy and you're sitting there and she's just miserable the whole time telling you all about her miserable life, which is really wonderful in comparison to everybody else's. And then she sits there and she takes one bite of her food because this isn't any good at all. We shouldn't have come here. And you're like, seriously? I done lost my fidget spinner. It's going to save my life. The power of a fidget spinner. Come to me. Anyway, do those friends drive you crazy? And then they continue to text you, and then they're like, I, what did I do? Did I do something to upset you? You're like, no, blah, 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 whatever. And then you get, because I will not have the conversation with them in text messages. I just will not, right? So then they call you, and I'm like, listen, okay? Like, I'm trying to only have positivity in my life. You seem very upset most of the time, and I want to be your friend, and I want to help you. And I say this to my friends, okay? Because when I was negative, my friends said it to me. My friends, my, listen, my good Judy Tanya will say to me quit with quickness, okay, you done put out four rant videos today. You need to check yourself and have some gratitude in your life. And I'm like, <gasps> you're right. I do. I do. Right. But these people don't want to hear it. Right. And you go, and then they just look at you. If you're talking to them in person, you're like, sweetie, I love you, but you're so negative all the time. Like you seem so upset and you really on the outside looking in have a pretty wonderful life. And they look at you and you think they're going to say, you think they're going to have that moment of clarity. Okay. That you went out on a limb. Okay, with this friend that you don't even want to be at this lunch at this very bougie, expensive restaurant, that there was nothing there that you wanted anyway, and you're trying to enjoy your $30 lunch that you're going to have to pay for that you just would have rather gone up into McAllister's Deli and paid $8.99 for a, a club plus some chips and a drink, right? Okay, so you're sitting there, and you're thinking that maybe, I think not. Because what you don't know, what you know, what you don't know is a lot, okay? If you know what you don't know is a lot. Forgot about that one. But anyway, and you're thinking that maybe they're going to have that moment of clarity where they look at you and they're going to go, you're so right. I'm so sorry. I've been so negative lately. I want to turn my life around. I want to be really positive. And they look at you and they say something like this. Why would you kick me when I'm down? I do not know how hard my life is. And then you leave, and they give you a hug, and they go, can't wait to do it again, and they get in their brand new Range Rover, and you're like, listen, gal, okay, I just can't, okay, we are on completely two different levels, and I have a couple friends like that, and listen, I love them completely, but I just can't, you know, it's like, it's too much, it's like, I love you, but we, what, like, and these are friends that I see very rarely, like maybe once every six months, because when I do it, um, number one, they depress me about my own life, number two, I cannot listen to somebody complain about having to go to, when people start complaining to me and they go oh I just feel like I never get to be home for two days in a row because I've traveled so much what be thankful for that okay oh you don't have to go to the grocery store you know and uh, clean your house because you've been in Aruba and Boca Raton and New York City and LA and France for two weeks and somebody's house that they rent oh I'm sorry I'm sorry Y'all have that friend that just complains and complains about how bad their life is, and I'm so miserable. Oh my God, and I just don't even know how I can go in one more day. My life is so miserable. But then at the same time, like, they're that friend that, like, everything that you try to do, like, they, is wrong, right? So, like, if they say to you, like, with the peach thing, right? And then you see them, like, six months later, and they're like, oh, they're totally, like, into, like, you know, at that, oh, CrossFit. Oh, my Lord, don't 
get me started on this CrossFit bullshit, right? Every one of my friends was like, oh, we got to do CrossFit. You got to do CrossFit. You got to do CrossFit. You got to, well, first it was Pilates. Well, no, 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 let's go back. First it was hot yoga. Everybody was like, hot yoga, hot yoga, hot yoga. So I went and I did hot yoga, okay? Burned my ass up, sweated. I don't even think I lost a pound. I was just ready to go eat a double Whopper with cheese when I left there, seriously. I thought I was gonna, oh, faint a million faints. But I left that hot, sweaty yoga or whatever it's called. I didn't enjoy it at all. I didn't find any kind of zen or enlightenment, none of that. I just thought, bitch, it's hot up in here. It's, oh, family friendly. Bitch, it's hot up in here. It's just, it was hot. It's hot. I can't. And I'm fat. And it's just, they don't, listen, okay? Horrible torture tactics, putting a fat person up in that uh, sweat lodge yoga or whatever it's called. So then I'm sitting there at dinner with my friends, you know, two weeks later, they're, I don't know, you know, 100 pounds soaking wet, and they're like, every picture that they post on, you know, Instagram is them in a marathon holding up a, <laughs> I did it again, really, fifth time this week, how about it? You know, like, run, Forrest, run. So anyway, and I'm like, oh, I did that sweat lodge yoga or whatever it's called, and they're like, oh, that's not it anymore, now it's Pilates. So then I go do the Pilates, and I'm stretching, and I'm, ooh, and all this, and bend me back, and listen, there are some places that fat people shouldn't be, okay? There just are. There are some ways that, listen, if you bend me the wrong way, baby, I ain't bending back, okay? I am not like one of those bendable little toys, okay? I mean, there's just some things that my legs just gonna pop right off. So anyway, I did the Pilates, and then I'm back there again, and then, then oh, no, it's not Pilates. No, now it's that CrossFit. Well, I knew, listen, I knew. I knew better than to get involved in that CrossFit, because you gotta pay, like, tons of money, and getting real involved, and they're, get, they're like, fake families of workout people and they're like fit fam fit fam all over instagram i could not get down with that right and then it was the marathon running and there was the marathon families and then it was all this kind of stuff i'm like listen baby bob evans okay i'm the bob evans family i'm gonna hashtag it bob evans i just can't and all my friends now like work out and the new craze is not to have kids. The, the new craze is to, like, get in the best shape of your entire life, apparently. You know, never eat any bad food. Be completely 100% vegan, which I don't think is, there's anything wrong with. I wish I could get down with it. I wish I could get down with all the marathons. I wish I could do the CrossFit and everything. I wish I would look like the supermodel of the world. It's just too hard for me. They don't, any of them want kids. And then they, like, I don't know, they go to bed at, like, 7 o'clock on the weekend so they can get up and run these marathons and do all this craziness and then they all keel over at 40 from heart attacks. And then you hear about the woman that lived to be 115. Why? Because she drank a, a glass of red wine and ate chocolate every day. Exactly. And smoked cigarettes. Exactly. <laughs> it's all called genes, baby. Let's just be for real. I cannot. And then, like, I see him, and I think, God, I wish I could run a marathon. And then I start walking. I say, oh, and then I slow it way down. We slow it way down, right? We go from the marathon to the maybe running, you know, 10 miles a day to 5 miles a day to maybe walking. And then maybe a walk around the corner with Pee Pee. And I get at the end of the driveway, and I'm like, oh, Pee Pee, I'm too tired. He looks at me, he's like, I'm too tired, too. And we're just like, fuck it. Let's just do the fit. Here's my exercise for the day, the fidget spinner. I mean, you know you're truly fat when you're huffing breath when you're going up and down the stairs. That's the truth of the nature. I need to get into shape. This was not supposed to be about my weight. This was supposed to be about that one Judy. Listen, I don't even call her Judy because she's just not that good of a friend, but we all have one. You know I'm talking about that one friend. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. But the truth of the nature is the power of the fidget spinner. Can you believe I got one? Just wait when I come on here. My outfit. It's going to be called Outfit of the Day, and it's going to be me in a romper. I can't wait. Anyway, I love you guys. Follow me on all my social media and my... <laughs> Spirit figures, spirit fidget spinner, and my daily vlog. Just listed below. I'll talk to you later. Bye.